All right, guys, I'm going to be following up yesterday's video about the PlayStation VR with a topic of VR gaming versus 4K gaming, or however I worded it in the title. Let's get right into this video. So 4K gaming, what can you expect from it? Better graphics as it comes with 4K. If you don't know what 4K is, that is the resolution right now. Uh, we could technically say we're at 1K. So four times whatever you're seeing right now is going to be the norm within uh, two years. Two years, it's going to be the norm for the people that go to it early. Console gaming, I'm not talking about PC gaming. Yes, PC gaming 4K has been a thing for a very long time. But not everyone has a PC. And the people that do have a PC, um, I would say 30% are able to play 4K and have a 4K gaming monitor to play 4K games with. So I'm saying within two years, I think the crowd is going to go to 4K gaming, and that's just what happens, all right? If you look back in time, graphics have always gotten better. A great series to talk about is Call of Duty. If you look at every single Call of Duty that was made, each game that comes out, is better in graphics. Now, that's only here recently because computer technology has just been going through the roof. It's like every day they're coming out with something to make your PC run better or your Mac run better or your gaming console run better all the time. This is just the way life is now. We are innovating for the sake of innovating. And that comes to VR. VR is something that if you haven't experienced, I strongly urge you to go and check out because 4K gaming is theoretically going to be the same thing we have now. It's just going to be shinier, flashier, look better, and it's at one point the game is going to look like real life. I will guarantee that the game that we're playing right now, this dragon, is going to look like you're watching a movie. This entire game will be a movie, basically. And I'm excited for that, true. I don't think I know of a single person that's not excited for gaming to look like real life and have better graphics because that is the way gaming has been for the past, oh, let's say seven to eight years now. Before that, it really wasn't too much on the graphics. Yeah, it might have gotten a slight bit better, but they were really in for the content. You know, better games, better content. Now we're talking about better content, better graphics. It's just something that we require. We we tell the companies we want better graphics, and the companies produce. Now with VR, we're going to be stuck at 1080p for a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I highly doubt that we're going to have 4K VR headsets that you and I are going to be able to purchase anytime soon. VR is amazing. It is something that stands out from 4K gaming because like I said, 4K gaming is going to be almost exactly like what you have now, just flashier and better graphics. But VR, on the other hand, is something that has never been done before. And I know PC people, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. We've been playing VR. We've been playing 4K. We had the Oculus Rift. We had it. I get it. Not everyone has a PC, so you can't compare yourself to consoles. This is the mass market. The mass market, whether you like it or not, is consoles. I That's why I hate the PC or the gaming PC versus console world. The winner is the one that has the most money. And unfortunately for gaming communities like Steam, PlayStation and Xbox really hold the most capital. So whenever they get VR, it makes the news. It's big. It's what everyone wants. And with a price at $500 with an existing PS4, you're right in there and you're ready to go. So VR, it's just something that I cannot explain. It is gaming beyond gaming. It is better than having, you know, 10K gaming of, like I said, like real life graphics, like being able to see a person on the screen, straight movie. VR will be better. Even if it's going to be less graphically intense, you're going to feel more within the game and that's going to have a bigger impact on your life and you're really going to enjoy those games. So I'm just going to say my winner or my winner of this versus is going to be VR because it's so innovative. We're innovating for the sake of innovating now and we have VR. That's We live in a great time for gaming and movies and technology and all that crazy stuff. 
I cannot wait for the PlayStation VR. However, I'm not going to get it. Whenever it comes out, I'm going to let it be refined a little bit because I know there's going to be tons and tons of bugs. That's what it is when new technology comes out. And 4K, it's already there. It's refined. Once you get a 4K console, you will be set for a little bit. But as the consumer demands it, 4K is going to go down the drain. I'm just going to tell you that. And I know you're going to hate to hear it, but... And, and some people, I guarantee you're saying, look how long 1080p has been around. 1080p 60. We're just now getting a Call of Duty that's true 1080p 60. And it's not even true 1080p 60. It's upscaled to 1080p. But that doesn't matter, okay? VR is a completely different experience, completely different gaming platform. I'm, it's, it's beside gaming, you know? It's, it's not even gaming it's real. It feels real. It feels great. I really want to get into some 4K gaming, but I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it dish out for a little bit. See what quirks and bugs, and see whenever they come out with the VR2. As you know, they will. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section what you think is going to be better: 4K gaming or VR gaming. And also, I don't know if I already said it, but if this video gets 100 likes. I will tell you guys my crazy through the roof theory of VR gaming and how it could possibly kill you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Peace!